Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add a new log file in Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about useful URLs, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablens channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17, 18 development tutorial. And right now we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available, all right? So let's back to our main topic and guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus it will give you the latest notification about upcoming sessions all right so let's say if i'm going to the terminal right you can see here all the logs available here in the terminal and i'm not able to save this logs right and once i will control c and one more time i'm execute this command right and let's say for example if i'm going to contacts right the cells the form view something like this or let's see the reference the screen so all the logs right you can see here you can see here all the logs available here right now the question is how you can also save these logs in in the specific file so here odoo provides one cli command right using that command you can save that specific file but let me show you here in our Odoo 18, you can see here, this is the di directory, right? From here, or let's say if I'm going to here, LS, you can see here, this is our main community add-ons directory, right? And now here I am trying to create a new file, but I'm not trying to create any files here, but Odoo automatically create file, okay? So you have to do like this, uh, let's say log file, right then after equal to and any of the specific uh, path the physical path in a home directory or in a specific log directory right you can provide the specific path now the thing is the make sure that specific file name you provide it's having the specific access rights on that particular directory or else it won't be work okay so in my case i'm trying to add in the existing this directory okay so let's say web learns odoo logs odoo right now I'm, I'm trying to use like this name but here the extension should be dot log now once i click enter now you can see here it it won't be display any of the logs you can see here right if i'm going to here refresh the screen right you cannot see here any single logs right now let me go to the new tab ls and now you can see here this log file let me show you here the logs see and now if i will go to the uh, i'm trying to refresh the screen now you can see it's automatically stored in the log file you can see if i'm moving to contact open the form view or moving to the new record right so you can see the logs you can see here the logs automatically add in that specific file right and now you can see here in the process you cannot see single messages the log messages here right because it stores here in this file now if you see here now you can see automatically reload this log file and once you click here you can see all the logs available here so let's say right now you can see line number 135 right and once i will refresh the screen you can see once automatically reload then it will automatically add here the logs right so in this way you can add the log file one more thing is what about if you are using the configuration file right like this so here in this case so here you have to use you have to remove this desk desk and this log file okay so let me copy this file name and you can see here if you scroll down here you can see this log file and here instead of this abc.config i'm trying to add here my own log file weblens underscore odoo.log all right so this is the file name and let me go to here edit let me remove this one and minus c 
means the configuration file weblands v18.conf apply and once I start the process now you can see there is no single logs available here also all right so let's say if I'm going to here this log file and now you can see here it will automatically update here so let me refresh the screen if I'm going to discuss calendar right and if you see here it will automatically load like this and parallel you can see here also the files log the logs automatically store into the files right so like this way you can add the log file using the CLI command the log file as a CLI command okay in the configuration file but if you are you if you want to store your log files your local log files from terminal then you have to use here desk desk log file equal to and the specific file name and with the log extension all right so that's it guys this session if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session